Hey there, welcome back! Last episode, we fought and we defeated Gideon, at which point he summoned a monster, which we also probably defeated. Not before everybody kinda had close calls left and right, and Elisa died twice, I think. But it's fine! We won, and that's the point. And now we're here! We're fixing to leave for Trista, I think. So here we go. Thank you all for everything. I'm so grateful for the kindness you've shown us. I'll never forget all of the things I've seen and learned here. Indeed. I feel as though I've gained something truly inev- in in oh, invaluable. <laughs> it makes me happy to hear that. Bro, Breen, you sis, hi. Come on now, Lily, don't cry. Lily, Toma, thanks for all you've done. You have my thanks as well. It was a pleasure to meet you. I'll return again when I have the opportunity. Until then, you've got to take care of everyone here for me, Toma. Leave it to me. Elisa, Emma, thank you so much. It was great getting to know you. I know, or ah, uh, I hope we'll uh, have another chance to discuss sweets and fashion again to, uh, someday. Thank you again for the wonderful tea recipe. It may take me a while, but I hope that one day I'll be able to make it as warm and arom aromatic as you do. <laughs> I, I know you'll be able to do it. <laughs> it seems this has been quite the experience for them. Indeed, it does. Still, Sharon's an attract as attractive as ever. But you're quite the bobacious, bobacious beauty yourself, instructor. Damn, Gwyn! <laughs> oh my! Aren't you the charmer? If only you were a little younger, you'd be just my type. And the instructor and grandfather at least tried to be serious this t this once. Sorry, sorry. Can't help myself sometimes. Anyway, to be serious for a moment here, it would seem you've made a discovery of your own. Yes, I think I finally understand why you left the Reinford Company when you did. Is that so? You've been with me ever since I was a child, so I think I know as well as anyone how much you've given to the company. Because of that, it was even harder for me to understand why you would just turn your back and let Mother take over. And now, I think I finally understand. You left because you truly loved the Rifer Company, didn't you? Pre precisely. Since the Orbital Revolution, the Rhineford Company has created the technology that has defined people's modern lives. From railways to heating, orbital cars to airships, even the tanks and guns, I regretted none of them. What I did regret, however, were the railway guns we built five years ago. I thought so. Hmm? With my apologies to the Lieutenant General, those railway guns are little more than instruments of mass murder. With their innate limits in range and de uh, deployments, or in deployment, they have no real strategic value in a war. Their sole purpose is as a weapon of mass destruction designed to effectively hold the innocent people of Crossbill hostage. In other words, to stop a potential Republican army invasion before it starts. Nothing more, nothing less. It's an unpleasant truth to acknowledge, but I have no rebuttal. My daughter may have signed off on the project, but as the one who saw them completed, I was terrified at what may be done. I feared that somehow, or that somewhere along the way, we had sold our principles and our souls as craftsmen to the highest bidders. When my daughter took over as company chair, I took the opportunity to step back from Reinford and really think about where we'd gone wrong, about how we'd come to this point, and how to make things right. So that was why. I guess you probably don't have any intention of returning soon. I'm afraid not. All that's happened in the past five years 
suddenly strengthened my resolve. The company environment, my daughter's leadership of it, things have changed too much. For now, I'll let her take care of things from the inside. As for me, I'll do what I can from the outside to help the company find its way forward. Hmm. Master Gwyn. <laughs> I think Thor's Military Academy is a fine place for you to be right now. That shadow is really... That's a intense shadow right there on the back of Elisa's head. Huh? No doubt, there are still many obstacles lying ahead of you. But when you put your head together with such a diverse group, you're bound to see, you're bound to see things you might not even uh, you might not have otherwise, just like you did while you were here. You may be right. I'll do what I can to try and see things from a different perspective than both you and Mother. Both as a member of the Rhineford Company and more, well, a member of the Rhineford family, and more importantly, because I owe it to myself. Proud to hear it. Reen, Gaius, Eusis, Emma. You'll take good care of her for me now, won't you? Of course. <laughs> Leave to us. We'd be happy to. <laughs> Very well. G Grandfather, stop that. I'd love it if Sharon could stay here with me a bit longer, though. I don't suppose I could tempt you to look after me for a while instead, could I? <laughs> I'm afraid not. I have to return to my duties as Class 7's caretaker. Uh, my poor heart! Grandfather, please. <laughs> It's almost time for the train to depart. You should begin making your way over to the platform. Thank you. Take care, Lieutenant General. Bye, everyone. <laughs> bye bye May the wind and the goddess always guide your path. Farewell. I look forward to meeting uh, again someday. Goodbye. Thank you for everything. This is one of the more heartfelt goodbyes of most of our field studies. Drinks are on me. Sweet. <laughs> Good showing, everyone. Yay, gotta be. Uh, yeah. Bond strengthened. Neat. Auto tier. Ooh, what's that do? Ooh, I can save. Um. I guess. Why not? Negotiations with the Republican government are complete. The possibility of an armed conflict in the Nord Highlands has been successfully averted. However, they did demand that we hand over the mercenaries responsible for the attack as part of their terms. <clears throat> I suppose that's acceptable. That's our Chancellor? After all, it was a shortcoming on our side that allowed that incident to occur. We should consider this a chance to place Rocksmith in our debt. Especially with the trade conference on the horizon. Yes, sir. Though, it's regrettable that we were unable to catch the Mastermind. There's not a doubt in my mind that he's one of the ringleaders. Ha <laughs> ha! Indeed. It seems we'll need to exercise greater caution from now on, if this is what they're capable of. Our next concern is the upcoming Summer Festival. Any thoughts as to the optimal placement of the Ironbloods? 
I believe their primary target will be next month's trade conference. I propose posting Lecter to the east and Milliam to the west. That leaves me here to take care of the capital. <laughs> it's almost like you read my mind. Very well then. I'll leave the preparations to you. Yes, sir. <laughs> With all respect, don't be afraid of working me hard, sir. I could run these kinds of logistics in my sleep. Ha! I am all too aware of how indebted I am to your abilities. That's why I'm leaving the Summer Festival in your capable hands. Sir Waves, is she one of the Ironbloods? Perhaps you may even consider using them as a test. I... Please excuse my intrusion, Your Excellency. His Excellency the Governor has arrived and wishes to speak with you. Ah, show him in. As you wish, sir. Coming in. Oh, forgive my intrusion. I didn't realize you had company. No, it's quite all right. I just finished giving my report. It's wonderful to see you again, Governor. Likewise. I think it's been, what, two months since we last spoke? I'm in your debt for helping out with the security arrangements at last month's commemoration event at City Hall. I've been looking forward to thanking you in person. Glad to have been of service. I'll be sure to pass on your thanks to everyone else involved. Anyway, if you'll excuse me. Good work as always, Captain. It never ceases to amaze me that a woman like that heads up the Ironbloods. Your icy maiden has the provincial armies positively scared stiff. <laughs> Competent as she is, she's not the group's primary member. But she and the rest of the Ironbloods continue to do some fine work, especially against those cunning vipers amongst the ranks of the nobility and the four great houses in particular. Agreed. But we'll need to stay vigilant. <laughs> I'm pleased that you agree, Imperial Governor Karl Regnitz. Oh no! The feeling's mutual. Chancellor Gilead Osborne. Of course, and that's exactly why I intend to go with him. Next month's conference may be the West Samoria Trade Conference in name, but it's far more than that. It's the region's first international conference in modern times. So the discussions won't be limited to economic matters. But regional security and other timely issues are sure to come up. I see. So that's why all the region's heads of state will be in attendance? Precisely. President Rocksmith will represent the Republic of Calvert, of course. Prince Albert will be representing the Principality of Hermaferia as its head of state. Crown Princess Claudia will be coming to represent Liberal in place of the Queen. And representing Crossbell State, we have Mayor Croix and Speaker McDowell. All of them are either heads of state or they're acting representatives. Meanwhile, Erebonia is sending Chancellor Osborne as a representative of the Imperial Government. But Father is the head of state, isn't he? Indeed. And that's why I'm planning to go as well, even though I'm far from the ideal candidate. The Imperial family needs to be represented, to make sure all sides are on equal terms. You shouldn't be so harsh on yourself. But I think I understand the situation. I feel so ashamed. I shouldn't have to rely on you to educate me about simple politics like this. Hmm? Recently, I feel as though all my inadequacies have been staring me in the face. I wish every day I had the intelligence and quick-wittedness you possess, and I wonder... Am I truly capable of inheriting the throne from father? <laughs> you know, Her Highness Princess Claudia of Liberal once said exactly the same thing. She did? As the successor to the throne of Liberal, I've heard that she agonized over whether she was fit to become queen. But eventually, she came to terms with her own inexperience and vowed that she would strive each day to overcome it. And I have no reason to believe that my talented brother cannot do the same. Oliver, thank you. Your support means a lot to me. That said, I do think you should spend more of your time living life the way you want to. I don't think anyone would blame you for wanting to indulge your interests once in a while. <laughs> I am how I am, I'm afraid. To be honest, I'm a little jealous of how being so open and carefree comes so naturally to you. 
Well, I think it'd be less concerning for all involved if you avoided taking after me too much. Another thing. I sometimes find myself admiring Chancellor Osborne's strong-willed nature as well. Oh? He was quite forceful in introducing the Imperial Transportation Act last year, but ever since then, I've heard the number of orbital car accidents has fallen dramatically. I can see why Father trusts him so much. Well, I wouldn't disagree that was a fine piece of policymaking. The campaign he launched with the help of City Hall was exceptionally well executed. But on the other hand... Honestly, don't you think it's a little early in the day to be having a stuffy political discussion? It's you! You're the girl who was with Elise! Alfin? Oh, have your lessons already finished for the day? Indeed! They gave us the afternoon off to prepare for the summer festival! But come on, Cedric. You need to stop taking everything so seriously. We're 15! It's far too early for us to be worrying about politics! Actually, I'm not sure 15 is too early, to be honest. What you should be concerned about is being more of a man at official parties. Blushing head to toe just from a lady asking you to dance? Shameful. Totally shameful. Oh, come on. Why do you have to bring that up again? <laughs> you know, that did wonders for his popularity. The ladies at that party were swooning left and right. He was playing their maternal instincts like a harp. Well, I can't deny that. Even some of the men there were fawning over him, saying Cedric was more of a youthful flower than me. Surely you're kidding, right? <laughs> that reminds me, Alfin. Have you decided on your dance partner for the upcoming garden party? Yeah. You've always avoided dancing at official functions. <laughs> Curious, are we? Well, I do have someone in mind this time. Although whether I can get him to say yes... R really my my it sounds like you aren't just blowing smoke Imperial Chronicle is going to have a field day when they find out y you're really going to dance with someone C could it be a son from one of the four great houses <laughs> that's for me to know and you to discover he is a noble though I'll give you that much oh that reminds me Prince Oliver I have a proposal I'd like to discuss with you Oh, it's going to be hilarious if it's Reen. We're going to just go all over the place now. Elise! I should open that letter from Reen that came in this morning. <sighs> I'm almost afraid to think how Her Highness would have reacted if she found this. Dear Miss Schwarzer. <laughs> really, Reen? Still Miss Schwarzer? I'm your own sister. What? <laughs> Reen, why? I forgot what he wrote. What is it? Was it about the Celtic situation? We time traveled again! <laughs> Mid-July. Summer had come to Trista, and that meant it was time for us students to dust off our short-sleeved shirts. months of experience under our belts, we finally found ourselves adjusting to the rigors of our coursework. I forgot 
the other characters that weren't a part of our group are still in their casual clothes. And it was during those early days of summer, before the heat became well and truly withering, except for Fee for some reason, we saw the start of a uniquely seasonal new lesson. All right, that should be enough of a warm up. I'm supposed to remind you that swimming classes here are meant to teach you skills relevant to military service. You know, how not to drown if you wind up in the water, how to save others from drowning, CPR, that kind of stuff. In fact, CPR is a pretty vital skill on any battlefield. Reen, Elisa, would you care to give us a demonstration? Why pick those two? <laughs> oh, she's just messing with them. Uh, instructor! In front of everyone? Come on, guys, just kidding around. Point is, it's still important that you learn how to do it and that you won't hesitate to use it if the need arises. What's that scar in Reen's chest? Is that when he got attacked earlier? Uh, did the previous episodes? Whether that means locking lips with someone of the same sex or the opposite? Uh... Of course. Well, it is a skill we can use to save someone's life. After we've covered that, I'll be timing how long it takes each of you to swim the length of the pool. Will you give me a hand, Laura? As you wish. You're up, Gaius. Ready, and go! You're next, Emma. Ready, go! Wow, look at Gaius go! Yeah, I already used to swim in that lake in the Highlands every summer, so I kind of expected that. Emma's a lot faster than I thought she'd be, too. Though it's not much her swimming ability that I envy. What do you... Oh. Oh. I get it. You don't need to get it. Anyway, what are you doing just staring at girls in swimsuits? I'm not staring. My eyes are just pointed in that general direction. Well, any guy would have a hard time taking his eyes off of our class's girls. I'm not even sure who to gawk at first. I mean, even the other guys are handsome. You're pretty toned yourself, Reen. You think? Well, it does look like you put a lot into your exercise and training. This is a very awkward conversation. As for you, Elliot, I think you're better just the way you are. Oh, really? I don't think I want to imagine Elliot all buff and ripped. Hmm? Hey, what's that on the left side of your chest, Green? Some kind of scar? It gets mentioned! Hmm? Huh? Well, you're right. It's so faint that I hadn't noticed it before. Oh, that. It's... some kind of mark. It's been there as long as I can remember. I don't know how I got it, though. Wow! Actually, when I look at it more closely, it looks more like a bunch of little scars all knit together. It makes you look really manly and tough. I kind of wish I had one now. Seriously? It really wouldn't suit you. Trust me. <sighs> Can't believe we finished with the exact same time. We must be destined to strive against each other forever. <laughs> What are you talking about? The only one I was competing against was myself. And even then, I barely put much effort into it. Well, it's not like I was giving my best either. <laughs> These two. <sighs> that was refreshing. I wouldn't mind swimming a little longer, actually. Okay. Laura, are you ready? I'll time your lap. Though I doubt I really need to, considering you're in the swimming club. No, please do. So Laura's next. You can tell she's a member of the swimming club. Just look at the way she stands on the block. Ready, and go! Whoa, she's fast. Uh, how is she doing it? Impressive. Whew. Well done. Let's see, 20.02 seconds. Not bad at all. All right, I think it's time for me to dive into the mix. Everyone, pick a partner. It's time for a little head-to-head -head competition. 
Well, that came out of nowhere. Uh-oh, races. Well, it is Sarah. A lot of things come out of nowhere. <laughs> it appears we've been given a chance to settle this once and for all. I'm ready when you are. Watch them tie. I think we'd be a good match, Emma. How about it? <laughs> True, our times were pretty close. Hmm. How about it, Laura? Want to partner up with me? Not today, I'm afraid. I wish to challenge Fee this time. Me? Laura? But your times weren't even close. Well, all right, let's go with that. I guess that leaves me with... Green. It's your lucky day again! Wait, why me? Exhausted. You know, this seems like it would be pretty effective as part of a diet plan. Okay, let's see what you got. Y yeah. There's no way I'm going to win this, is there? <laughs> Go easy on me, guys. <laughs> Same to you. Ready? Go! Oh, that came out of nowhere, actually. Press triangle or circle when the two circles overlap. Doing this repeatedly will increase your speed. Okay. Uh. Uh, oh. I've always been bad at stuff like this. I got second place. Can I do that over? <gasps> I can do it over. Ready? Go. What? Just duh. Well, I was doing better than my last time, that's for sure. AP increased by three, that's good. I... I actually won. <laughs> Nicely done, Rain. I'm exhausted. Are you both ready? Not quite. Fee, how about giving it all you've got this time? Huh? Uh, Laura? What if I already did? I don't think so. I could tell just by watching you. Don't make light of me. Your earlier time was certainly not the best you're capable of. <laughs> well, it's not very polite to your opponent to hold back. This isn't like the battlefields you grew up fighting on. It's a place you can grow and better yourself by challenging others. Deep down, I know you realize that. <sighs> mm. Good. Then let us begin. Looking at them like this, it's obvious how different their builds are. If build were all that mattered, we would have turned in faster times than either of them. I imagine the difference lies in their control of their bodies. Yeah, this'll be one to watch. Ready, go! What? It's incredible!
Whoa! Which of them was first? It was too close to call. No, there was a tiny difference. Laura came out ahead on this one. Having longer arms might have been the deciding factor, even. Oh, I wish I could have joined in. <laughs> well done. <sighs> the same to you. You can do this when you want to, and yet, you consistently hold back. Why? <laughs> no reason, really? Too much effort, I guess. It seems we truly could not find a middle ground. Well, uh, temperatures are going up, 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 and I don't know about you, but I'm wilting like a flower. But as everyone knows, when the heat is on, that's when the refreshing, refreshing power of beer is at its peak. Ooh, I, maybe, whoa, who maybe I should use my free day tomorrow to hit up all the capital's beer gardens. If you're waiting for us to stop you, you're in for a long wait. So, do you have some classy gentlemen lined up to go with you? Or will you be flying solo again? Eh, you just had to ask. Anyway, moving on. Your next practical exam is coming up next Wednesday. I'm sure you're already used to them by now, but just make sure you're ready. Yes, instructor. That means next weekend will be our field study then. Uh, feels like we just got done with our last one. Well, to me, we did. Hmm. Ah. Uh, if we're tied up next weekend, I guess I won't be able to go to the capital uh, for the summer festival this year. What summer festival? It's a seasonal holiday. Kind of. Most of the major cities in Erebonia celebrated in June. I've heard it's actually an old... Animi a animistic festival that the Septian Church adopted. Ah, I see. We actually do have a similar festival in Nord. Though, it, if it's mostly celebrated in June, that, that, uh, why does the capital wait until July? You know, I've always wondered that too. Does anyone actually know? Uh, the standards for teaching just aren't what they used to be. I believe it has something to do with a War of the Lions, though beyond that, that's correct. July is the month the uh, when Emperor Dracul's brought an end to the Civil War. Because of that, the Summer Festival was held a, a month late, alongside the celebration of the war's end. Huh, interesting. Actually, I think Instructor Thomas... Uh, th th Thomas? Uh, was think uh, was talking about that one time, but it seemed like he was just going to babble on forever. So I managed to worm my way out of the conversation. Well, can't say I blame you. If you let him, he can go on about history all day. He doesn't know how to shut up. Anyway, make sure you don't let the heat sap your strength, though. I'm sure your miracle-working maid will whip up a massive mill to keep you keep us energized. It really does seem like she and Sharon have some kind of history together. I bet my mirror on it. Sharon always plays innocent whenever I ask her about it, though. Well, that about does it for homeroom. If you'll do me the honors, Machias. Yes, instructor. All rise. Bow. Where's Fee going? Fee? Hmm. Um, I'm going to go after her, okay? Thanks. Run, Emma, run! Uh, do you think you could maybe make a little more effort to get along with her? You are her senior, after all. Uh, I'm aware of that, however. Looks like those two are getting along the same as ever. 
They seem to be arguing after their race in our swimming course, too. Humph. <laughs> I heard their group's last field study score was middling as well. That's true. They were like that the entire trip. Is there nothing you can do to smooth things out between them, Reen? Oh, leave to Reen. We'll probably end up on the same field study. Well, I'd love to do something for them if I could, but... Uh, why me? Well, you just seem to be good at this kind of thing. Real natural. <laughs> and besides, you're the well-intentional, or well-intentioned Mark who got uh, duped into running errand for the student council. It, it's not like I do anything that major for them. Hmm, huh, what's wrong, Elliot? T sorry, what are you saying? Oh, right. I have to agree, Rain. I think you're the best one for the job, too. I mean, it was thanks to you that Yusus and Machius became buddies. Who the hell became buddies? You must be sniffing roses in the Garden of, Del of Delusions if you think I'm a friend of his. <laughs> you both say that, but you're totally on the same wavelength. Um, anyway, hate to dish and dish and dash, but I've got a club meeting to get to. Oh, yeah. Wind orchestra, right? Humph. I should be on my way as well. Actually, I've got a club meeting to attend myself. I'll catch you all later, then. Yay! A new uniform costume, UKJ costume. Well, I already knew this. I've got free movement! Time to end the episode, holy shit. I like that whole one glove thing, it's kinda neat. Anyways, thank you for watching, if you like this video and you wanna see more, please press the little subscribe button, it helps out a lot, and if you like this video specifically, please like and share this video. Next episode, we're gonna do our fill- We're gonna do a free day, and probably actually use all of our bonding points. Cause I have the awful tendency of just skipping out on those. But we'll just see what happens. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be getting another old schoolhouse mystery request. So yeah, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.